You are surrounded by them every day, but you probably don't even realize that they're in your home, on the street. Your kids even use them. But what are brand extensions? We sent NBC's Lisa Daniels to find out. It used to be so simple. Name a brand and you probably knew the product. We're in the Pepsi generation. Not anymore. Welcome to the new world of marketing, where any brand can sell anything. Play-Doh is selling perfume. The American Red Cross, radios. And ice cream maker Carvel, lip balm. What's going on here? It's a concept called brand extensions. I think brand extensions have happened for quite some time now. We're just finding out a lot about them now because companies are spending more to make consumers aware of that fact. Some of them make sense. Starbucks and Godiva moving into ice cream. Others don't, like Nathan's moving from hot dogs to dog treats. Here's another one. Hawaiian Tropic makes tanning lotion, but they also lend their name to this Hawaiian Tropic Zone restaurant. So where's the link here? Well, it might be a stretch, but women in bikinis do serve you your meal. Thanks. The list goes on and on. There's Vincent van Gogh vodka and Dora the Explorer perfume. Many are head scratchers. These are all ideas that they might have sound great in the lab, but when it came to putting them on the shelves, consumers just said, what were they thinking? And what were they thinking with this one? Sylvester Stallone pudding? Of course, celebrities have been brand extending for years. Who doesn't have a fragrance or a clothing line? And some celebs have made a second career out of brand extensions, like George Foreman, known these days as much for his grilling as his punching. But there are dangers. Brands should really keep close in with what they know. Consumers will give them only so much in terms of latitude. Still, that's not stopping the Donald from selling ties and Carlos Santana from selling shoes. Companies like Harley Davidson have diversified. Apparently, even hardcore bikers like stuffed animals and women's purses. They have a lot of kids' clothing and toys. They have things for your office, the bathrooms, the toothbrush holder. And then there's Jeep, moving into vehicles of a different kind, like baby strollers, play pens, and doggy carriers. Well, the idea behind licensing for the, the Jeep brand uh, really is an attempt to grow uh, the emotional appeal of the brand. Brands that seem to be growing and growing with no end in sight. For today, Lisa Daniels, NBC News, New York. Robert Sprung is the CEO of Tipping Sprung, a brand that and licensing company that conducted a survey on the best and worst brand extensions. Robert, good morning. Good morning. We good morning. know about this. I mean, I can tell you, with with a parent with young kids, oh, all yeah. these Disney products, whether they're you know, these are these are cookies or or you know fruit treats and the like. It's like go right through the parents. The kids want them, and that, that works as a brand extension. You bet. I mean, the two things that make a good brand extension, first of all, it's got to be logical, strategic, and it can't take the brand out too far, and as we'll see, some of them violate that principle. The second, it obviously has to be made of good quality. A lot of these are made by third parties, so-called licensees, right. and you have to uh, keep a close watch on that your brand is protected. You can actually hurt the reputation of the, the, the parent company that started the brand, right? right? Absolutely. Yeah. Go through some of the stuff here, and wh what have we got? Well, we'll start with some of the great brand extensions that came out on top in the Tipping Sprung brand extension survey that we do each year. We've got the Jeep stroller. This mm -hmm. seemed like a logical extension. The Red Cross emergency radio. You go from helping people, right, saving sure people's sense. lives to uh, a product like that. And uh, Starbucks coffee liqueur. Ah, ah that's, that's right. Again, makes sense. Get a right. little buzz with your buzz. Yeah. <laughs> and well, then we can move on to maybe some of the more questionable extensions. <laughs> Excuse me. We've got the Harley Davidson cake decorating kit. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that's that's right. I mean, when cake I, smells I like cake. leather. It's well, I like this one too, the chicken soup. For the puppy lover's mm. uh, soul. Hot dogs by, uh, hot dog <laughs> treats for, from Nathan's? Well, I think that the chicken soup for the soul dog food is interesting. <laughs> That's a brand that may have gone too far, uh, although pet lovers out there may, may swear by the product. Right. Uh, but it began with the great book, Chicken Soup for the Soul. It right. was one jump to Chicken Soup for the Pet Lover's Soul and then to Pet Food. There you go. All right. Somebody's buying it. Robert Sprung, thanks very much. We're coming right back after your local news. And a David Gregory hairnet. <laughs> <laughs>